Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Leo as to get over your ex and why you're stuck, okay? Um, so the monthlies are up, so you can check that out if you haven't already. You get the tarot messages along with the amazing healing at the end of it. A lot of people love it so much. So check that out, out if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to do this spread because we just came off the five-day challenge of get over your ex in the Facebook group, and um, it was amazing, and a lot of people got a lot of things out of it. So I just want to make sure that if you are stuck on your ex that you get a chance to do the five-day challenge because I'm going to be taking the videos down within like a week, well, a little over a week or so. So make sure you get them now so that you can use the information in there to move forward. A lot of people had a lot of success with it. But today we're going to talk about why you're stuck and how to move forward for your individual sign here. So um, again, remember it's a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You can check out your moon and rising sign. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. Okay. So we're going to talk about the relationship. We're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about how, why you're stuck and how to move forward. Uh, all right. So the relationship here, you've got the eight of pentacles and the queen of cups. Okay. So this relationship, you know, might've taken some work, might've taken some work. You might've been working your ass off in order to get you know, um, the relationship that you wanted, but there was a lot of love. There was a lot of love in this relationship with that queen of cups. I feel as though this could have been, um, I do feel like it was kind of mutual. Like, I don't feel like it was a one-sided thing. I do feel like there was a lot of love, but it took a lot of work, um, in order to kind of get it to work. And even if it didn't work, like maybe sometimes we're really good and then sometimes we're bad, but probably mostly mostly confusing and bad, but, um, yeah, I feel like there was love and that's why you kept trying to make it work. You felt a connection. There was some kind of love. Now them, you've got the sun and the three of wands, the sun and the three of wands. And here I feel as though they're telling me like they brought something to your life that you were not used to. Uh, I feel I, I'm drawn to the butterfly on top here and, you know, maybe change to your life, something better than what you were used to. And for them, it was always about looking towards the future. Like they always were looking ahead rather than looking at where they were right now and, and kind of recognizing and being aware of what was good or what was bad or what was just hard in the relationship. Um, Seen that sun, there's more to that sun card. They might have needed to heal a little bit. They might have needed to, you know, really kind of dig down. There might have been a lot of insecurities, a lot of things that they went through that needed healing that wasn't there. And that's why maybe they were distracted with the future all the time, is that they didn't want to go there. Their walls were up. They were, you know, again, some narcissists are like this where they can't deal with what they did, so they put this false mask on. Um, so, you know, they were always looking towards the future and I feel like that was keeping them out of what they knew they had to do now or facing the insecurities, fear, doubt inside of them, um, or the hurt and the pain that was inside of them. So I do feel as though there's a lot going on. And when someone's like that, they can't really give them all, all of themselves to you because they're trying to hide. They're trying to run. And you over here, <laughs> Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. You were trying to help. You were trying to fix them. Which again, narcissistic codependent relationship here for some of you, not all of you. But, you know, you got the Queen of Pentacles. You had it. You knew how to do this stuff. You were secure in yourself and you were trying to fix and tried, trying to help them. Okay. And so why are we stuck in this relationship? Why are we stuck with this relationship? We're going to read these three together. Uh, I'm feeling as though here is that uh, some of it was the judgment on yourself. You got the judgment, the unknown card, and the page of wands. And I'm feeling like for some of you here, it's going to be that judgment on yourself that you weren't able to help them, that you couldn't touch them inside, that you couldn't get to them. Um, and you don't know why, you know, you don't know why. And you feel like it's your fault. And, you know, um, 
yeah, like you feel like you offered your help, but you couldn't help them. And that kind of makes you stuck, you know, like I wanted to help this person and you're, and I feel like you're still reaching out, looking to see how they're doing and still wanting to help even it, however it went down. Okay. So how do we move on from this? How do Leo's move on from this relationship, this ex getting over their ex? Oh, yes. I love it. All right. High Priestess and the Death card. Change. This is connecting to your higher self and knowing that they're telling me here that knowing that it's not your job to help or fix somebody. Right? Unless they need it or want it or they ask for it. But when somebody doesn't recognize that they need that help or they need that healing, you can't be the one to throw it in their face. And that high priestess here is how to move forward is to letting that go, letting the go of, of needing to help and trusting in the universe that they will get their help when, they, when they're ready for it and the universe will provide that healing for them. And that death card is to transform yourself. Why do you feel the need to help? Are you an empath? You know, are you a codependent? Or you just feel like you have to help everybody? And... With that death card, that's a transformation card, is that that energy needs to be pulled back a little bit and focused on you instead of focusing on everybody else, okay? And we talk about that in the five-day challenge as well. So um, I hope this resonates with you. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know how it resonates with you if you like the spread. Um, also, if you're going to join, join the five-day uh, free get over your X challenge in the Facebook group. Make sure you sign up below. Again, like I said, the videos are only going to be up for a few days. And let me know if you guys want me to do mid-month readings instead of these little bonuses. And if you want the Reiki or just the tarot in them, okay? All right, much love to you. I hope you um, join the challenge so that you can really get yourself unstuck from this person and move on with your life, all right? I will talk to you guys soon and yeah.